You guys, Marijuana for Dummies, welcome to the show that attempts to educate you on marijuana use so that you don't end up in the ER because they have other important things to take care of besides your monkey ass. <laughs> You're helping people, you right? Really sick people. Here you come in with your marijuana overdose, quote unquote. So once again, I'll start the show by reminding you, pay attention. Pay attention to the dosages that you're taking. Some of you buy the marijuana edibles, you don't read it, so you don't pay attention. You get the cookie, the big old marijuana cookie, and, you know, that may be four doses. And some of y'all eat three cookies and wash it down with some Patron. <laughs> <laughs> That's why your ass is up in the ER. True. <laughs> Where True they will that. park you, put an IV in, and the biggest thing about a quote-unquote marijuana overdose, when they come in saying, oh, I ate some edibles, and now I'm, you chesting them out for other drugs. That's the main worry. The main worry is whether they only have marijuana in their system. So you run the whole drill. Run the drill. Run the overdose drill. <laughs> the overdose drill. <laughs> While you're doing that, plug an IV into them because they do that to everybody. Hydrate them up. And meantime, wait for them to regain consciousness. <laughs> Whatever. So don't, don't overdose yourself with marijuana. Now... I want you all to know that tomorrow morning I'm headed out to Las Vegas as part of the new series that we're doing here. And I forgot what I named the series, Vic. I forgot what I named it. Uh, new, did, new oh, urban, I, I think new you... Urban, says I'm leaving the cave. New Urban Road Trip. Well, I'm, re, yeah, I'm leaving I'm, the cave. I'm leaving the cave. That's it, man. Because you know, my dating life has prompted me <laughs> to embark <laughs> upon new shows. <laughs> it's, part of the, it's part of my adaptation to my wonderful dating life, I decided to get out there more and also to do more shows. So I'm going to Las Vegas tomorrow morning as part of the new excursion show, and I will be reporting extensively on marijuana in Sin City. Mm -hmm. you know, the question is, you know, what, what stuff to try? But I think I've got it worked out. I'm going to have a number of dispensaries outlined, and I'll be ready to get, hit my Uber... <laughs> or whatever I need to do in Vegas to hit the dispensaries in Las Vegas because they're expanding and they have they do it the fastest they voted it in like in October they got it going now <laughs> and give you an example of the difference LA just released a draft a draft not even the final final print L.A. just released a draft of marijuana business regulations in Sin City, Las Vegas. They voted in like October. It's implemented now. <laughs> Long line. They try, almost selling out. Yeah, I heard that that's what that was happening. They're already, sell, sell out, they're already selling out. There, yeah. I might arrange some weed before I go. <laughs> you know what? So you can usually call them because they will deliver the weed to your hotel room. See, you know, so I may really, let me tell you what they're planning for Las Vegas. They're, the quote I read was they're planning for Amsterdam on steroids. Now, I've been to Amsterdam, smoked weed in Amsterdam over a wonderful coffee in a coffee shop. Where's that? I was at the, uh, the Bulldog, Bulldog Cafe, Bulldog Coffee in Amsterdam. So I had that experience, and they want. Las Vegas to be that. But the issue they have is that they also dream of Las Vegas as a family place. What? It, it's not necessarily go, they don't necessarily come together, right, Vic? They want the big part of Las Vegas money now is that it's a family destination with all the kind of stuff for the kids and all this and blah, blah. But also it's Sin City. So nobody in Las Vegas wants you. I don't want you walking down the street smoking a joint. I don't really want you in the casino. Smoking a joint. 
I would be okay if the casino had a separate area, not an area, but a room where you go through. I mean, Las Vegas got the best air conditioning, air filters in the world. Right. They have people smoking cigarettes in there like a bomb, right. and that air is being sucked, sucked up and clean. Yeah. I mean, even you, Vic, you would yeah. notice. You walk in there, I'm going like, with all hey, these look, people smoking, they sucking this air up and filtering this stuff. You can't <laughs> tell. Now, no. of course, all of them are broke after they leave, you know, because <laughs> that's what they look like. Somebody took their money, man. Well... Imagine Las Vegas if they have the rooms where you could go smoke, but because they're going to have to work all this out. But uh, Las Vegas has great aspirations in terms of its marijuana. In in Amsterdam, it's different because the attitude of the you know the Dutch is they're, they're different, and it's really because of their attitude that you have a red light district. They they keep everything in its place, so people are not out on the street smoking weed. I don't. I'm a weed smoker, and I don't want that. I don't want you walking. I don't want you walking down the street drinking a beer. <laughs> you know, but I don't know if I want you to go to jail for that. Right now in Las Vegas, it's illegal to smoke essentially everywhere. <laughs> Part of the schizophrenia that usually goes with marijuana legislation, no matter where you are. So right now, it's not legal in hotels, casinos, outdoors at all. You can't sit in your car and smoke a weed. That would be a $600 fine. Okay? But we've been smoking in the hotels all these other years. <laughs> Why is that any different? I mean, I've been going to Las Vegas and smoking in hotels forever. So, they, you know, just don't be obvious. I don't want you to be obvious either. If you fill in the whole room up with weed, put a dial on the, on the door. Have some consciousness of other people's sensibilities. You know, I think you should be respectful of other people's desire not to smell marijuana smoke. <laughs> Poor cat. You scared the cat, man. Jesus Christ. Come on, man. You know, do it with love, man. All right. Do Just saying, love. as a marijuana person, why be all obnoxious with it? <laughs> that people, you know, think I hate that. You know, you could be a marijuana smoker. We have marijuana at our events that we broadcast, and it never takes the main stage. Never. Because it shouldn't. It's not the main stage. It's just like having a beer or a glass of wine. All right, so Greece legalizes medical marijuana. Where's the applause? <laughs> yeah. yeah, okay. Now, I got a question. If, if Rome attacked Austria from the rear, would it need Greece? <laughs> you know what? There you go. Girl, Greece legalizes medical marijuana, so it immediately went up higher on my travel list. <laughs> Immediately, just zooms. It's one way to have your country jump up top to our travel list is to legalize marijuana in some form. And zoom. Okay. <laughs> We're going there. So Greece. Okay. All right. Now, 25 most popular marijuana strains. I want you to see this. Oh, shoot. I always have them. These are my visual aids, but, you know, fingers are not as nimble. Need a little more practice. <laughs> well. The 25 most popular marijuana strains, you guys. Take a look what they're saying. And I don't know where they get these data. I don't care. I just thought it was a wonderful Ooh, thing to show you. Gorilla Glue. Well, I've had Blue Dream. What about I've had Girl Scout cookies. I'm smoking sour diesel. Okay. OG Kush, I have that. I've had Skywalker OGs, one of the regular. I got SFV OG right now. You know, I keep weed. <laughs> So I have a bunch. So let's say, going, let's give you the top 10. Starting with Skywalker OG at 10, Bubba Kush coming in at 9, OG Kush at 8, Sunset Sherbert at 7, Gorilla Glue at 6, Green Crack at 5, Sour Diesel at 4, Girl Scout Cookies at 3, Gorilla Glue number 4, and Blue Dream number 1. You guys, look at these prices. That's the average price for an eighth. Okay? Hmm. Usually anywhere from between thirty-five and forty dollars. Okay, so you go. Remember, I myself today, I am having the wonderful sour diesel, and it's a hybrid. I posted that last. You know, look it up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. More weed, and I'll be mellow. But it's a hybrid, and you can get some. Okay, everybody. That's marijuana for today.